And so um, my question for you is from your guys' perspective, you know, you guys uh, take care of websites. You guys are helping people kind of take control of their own lead generation through various means, uh, 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 through their brand, through, I, I know you guys have some funnel assets as well, which I think is awesome. And, and there's a group of people in the industry that would, I'm sure, thrive with those. Um, what, do you, what are your thoughts and I feel like I know where you'll go with it, but I think it's good just to in invite the conversation. What are your thoughts about people buying different forms of media or, or you know, um, leveraging different means of attraction to prospects, borrowers? And look, it, 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 again, this is, this is more marketing 101, sales 101, right? How many at-bats do you want? It comes down to that, right? And so, and look, and it's funny because I've had, I've had people uh, that were interested in good vibes come to me and like, hey, I Preston McBilly, you know, gave me your name to talk about it, right? And I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah, let me let me tell you what I you know, know. And I said, look, I've never used a system, but I was at their mastermind and there was 100 people there and I talked to them and they seemed to be freaking super excited and happy with the service and stuff. So you should definitely talk to them. But like, well, like all I could vouch for is that they know what they're doing. All I could vouch for is that they're great market, right? And so if you came to me because you trusted me, you see me online or whatever, and like, so they could take that for what it's worth. But you always talk to the person, but to me, and it's like, well, what, what about doing both? Is it overlap? I'm like, you're going to get a different service and you're going to get results from them. You're going to get results from us. Do you not want multiple channels of, of results? Right. You know, like, you know, and, and that's, and that's, that's how I look at it is that, um, you know, even in our industry, you got MBS highway, you got mortgage coach, you know, you got people that will only do one or the other. You got people that do the same or that do both and they find value of that tool. So I always look at it this way is that like, if you're, look, you are in the doing business business, right? You are in the doing deals business. And so you want as many channels as possible and as many services that provide results, right? For that. And also knowing that you got, and I think where I think we align a lot when it comes to solutions is that you are not an instant ROI, short-term 30-day solution, right? We are not at Rebel IQ, a instant ROI, instant gratification, short 30-day solution. We are a long-term partner. Good Vibe Squad is a long-term partner. So for those that want to create legacy business and want as many at-bats as possible, then it makes sense to do, whether it's, you know, Rebel IQ and Good Vibes or whether it's some other services, wherever you're going to get results, why would you want to cut it off just because you think they overlap and when, you know, we really don't, yes, there's certain aspects of what we do. And yeah, I mean, the, you know, it's a Venn diagram, right? Yeah. It, 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 it overlaps, but who cares, right? Like if, like if you're getting results, you know, and, and arguably, I, you know, if I'm looking at the industry, you know, and again, I kind of said this already, arguably, you know, we're, we're two of the best that, that are going, you know, you know between our two organizations are two of the best in the industry. So it's like, you have two of the best. Is that, is that a bad thing? No, you know, it's, it's just, I, I, and I get it, you know, right. I get it. Like, cause people were like, I don't want to spend so much money. I don't want to, I don't want to do this. Or I think they're, and, and they could be right. It's always about fit too. Right. Like, it's like, you may look at us and what we do and you're like, that's right in my wheelhouse. That's exactly what I want. Awesome. Right. They look at yeah. you guys or like, it's exactly what I want. It's right in my wheelhouse. Cool. And like, uh, I, I looked at both of you guys and I thought this or that cool, right? Like, again, I'm not in the convincing you business. I am the showing you what we do, showing you the proof of how we've done it. And we know what we're doing and we're going to continue to do it. Right. And if that, yeah. and if I didn't sell you on that, because I'm not trying to, but if, if that's not you, then cool. But we've had people that have, that I've talked to, <laughs> have been here literally for months and then finally they're, they're clients now. Right. And it's just like, nothing's changed. Yeah. I mean, yeah, obviously rebel IQ and stuff, but like, you know, our, our technology is still the same. Right. Just now you're, it's now, now it, it, it just got to that point. So, but you know, again, just a long winded answer to say it in, in sales and marketing, you want as many at bats as possible and who cares? It, it, look, look at rocket and their marketing. They don't just run Facebook ads for sure. They're, they're freaking, they, they are in competing services everywhere, right? They're getting stadiums. Uh, they're putting their name on buildings. Stadiums and everywhere else. And the <laughs> yeah. reason why. It's because they want as many at bats as possible because they want to win. And because of the thing, the number one rule that you and I both know is whoever spends the most money to yep. acquire the customer wins. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, I, I, uh, I agree with that you said something there that I thought was interesting. It kind of took me down a visual 
uh, which was the, you know, we're not selling a, like a, a, an instant gratification kind of solution. And the secret to that is there isn't one, right? Yeah. You know, like this is the housing industry. It takes time. This is a slow moving sales cycle. You know, it's kind of like the whole lose weight quick pill. It's like, if it was real and worked, it wouldn't be in gas stations. It would be in hospitals. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, people would be making billions of dollars off, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So it's like, that's uh that's a marketing gimmick at best. If anybody's selling you instant gratification in, in this industry, especially um, to me, that's a red flag, you know? Um, yeah. So dude, that's awesome, man. Uh, it, it, this has been a really, really fun conversation, Jason. Um, you know, as we wrap up here, I'd, I'd, I'd like to know, you know, uh, from your perspective, what is a book or, or a resource that you've gone through, you know, in recent years, or maybe 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 even back if it, if it was really paramount for you, uh, that you felt was transformative and should be required reading for uh, somebody in in mortgage or sales? Yeah, it's there's so many, right? But I, I it, and look, I, I've read a lot of great books, right? Obviously, you know, I could say, you know, maybe it's. Dan Kennedy, maybe it's Russell Brunson's books that are that are really good. The Motivation Myth I mentioned was actually a big book for me. That so that's definitely one of them. But it's got to be one of the most one of the recent ones that I've read, and that's uh, Jeff Blount's uh, you know Selling in a Crisis. The crisis. If, one. if 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 you were looking for one as a loan officer, if you want to look because you you're going to go through it and you're like, oh shit, that's exactly what just Preston and Fraser just talked about for like the last hour, right? Like if you look at that book as a loan officer and you don't find value in that, then you're, you're in the wrong business. That book is a guide on how to win in a market like this. And so if I, if for right, and, and honestly, like, guess what, if you win in a market like this, you're going to win in a good market too. Right. So like, to me is like, if I'm, if I'm recommending any books for a loan officer right now, it's selling in a crisis. If you, yeah. is it's, it, it's, it's your absolute blueprint and guidebook to being successful in a we just talked about this actually in our newsletter where, you know, I was talking about what works during peacetime does not work in a recession, yes. but what works in a recession thrives in peacetime, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. And so it's like, if you just wake up and live like every day is recession time, you will evolve substantially as an entrepreneur because when it finally comes, you'll go, I knew it. Let's go. Business as usual, <laughs> right? Whereas everybody's panicking, you were prepared, right? It kind of goes back to that Warren Buffett. You, you, you see, you see who all's naked when the tide goes out. When the tide, the tide goes out. Yeah.